color to me serves as a therapy uh, to heal emotions. As the world is moving forward, the most powerful voice has been pictures. I document the culture with the use of color to, to show people the other side of Ghana that people don't see. Accra is a great city. Accra is a very vibrant, loud city. Every day when I wake up, I see something new. I come from a music background and I'm very passionate about it. So I wanted to capture the culture through my art. To us, music is life. The highlight, calypso, jazz, whatever you term it, is music from Africa. Reggie Rockstone and all these guys, you know, and we love them. I grew up on hip life music. Hip life music was the most famous music in Ghana. In Ghana, most people don't document the culture, the music. Well, the first time I saw the iconic photo of a great day in Harlem, I was amazed because that photo was so great. Thinking about bringing iconic people together in music, and it really inspired me. So I decided to do this project, A Great Day in Accra, because I wanted to unite all these artists together to photograph this iconic moment and let people know about the genre called hip life. So I chose Independent Square because of the symbolism, uh, the freedom that Kwame Kuma got for us. This very location was one of the definitive locations in the formation and acceptance of hip hop officially in Ghana, because in 1991 or 92, Public Enemy had a concert here. Hip Life initially emerged as social commentary, because when, when Hip Life was starting out in Ghana, on the political front, we didn't have that many um, media outlets. Hip Life was trying to make our people accept hip hop in our terms. So it, it kind of like high life and hip hop, you know, together. Whatever that we're experiencing now is a continuation of what I started. I was caught in between the music of our heritage and the music that is coming from the beyond the shores of Ghana. So it gave me an opportunity to be able to combine and create my own forms of rhythms, my own forms of words, and my own forms of music. Because there was one guy called James Brown singing about a mashed potato popcorn. That instigated me to sing about a bullfruit because food is part and parcel of us. Hip life is what set it off. That's what sparked it, you know, because up until then, if you check the history, everybody was trying to do either Jamaican rap or straight up hip hop, Yankee rap. And then we came along. I speak my own language, I speak Cree. Now, flow and tree. We are new artists coming in, so I think it's great for us to like introduce ourselves to each other and like, feed off each other's knowledge. I think it was important for us to let the young ones get connected with the uh, OGs. It's hip life, people don't really know it's in the rest of the world. It's the way they know hip hop, the way they know Afro beats. I wanted hip life to be out there too. And I kind of want to like have like an iconic photo of everyone. Yo, today, it's a great day for hip life because I got to see some of my idols. I can't say something earlier to me. There's no competition. Now within ourselves, everyone has a unique sound and everyone has their own space. This is like the greatest time to be an artist in Ghana. Meeting up here is like a reunion. I'm still remembered as a pay sitter. To get the opportunity for my story, and his story, and her story, and the hip life story to be told and captured in my environment and taken to the world makes all this beautiful. Hip life is, it still lives inside of you. Like you definitely have to revisit the past and the past is hip life. Every day is hip life. It, it's very difficult to assemble the people you assembled. We should be doing more of this. But you were able to summon us all into one place. And I think that it was good. You know, it's a, it's a great day. It is a great day. Real talk, we are the future of this country, the sound. It feels good to have the future all together around and then uh, chilling with the vibes. Yeah, I thought people won't show up because usually people don't. I really appreciate them coming out for us today and for me to photograph this iconic moment. Mm -hmm.